Welcome to another badass video from Network Engineer Academy. And by the way, this video, video number two out of five videos about the topic of VLAN. So what that means for you is, if you haven't watched video number one, I'm gonna ask you for you to go back and watch video number one first. If not, this video will not make a lot of sense to you because everything that I'm gonna walk you through, it's based on everything that I went through on video number one. So go back and watch video number one first. Now, this video, I'm gonna go through and configure VLANs on this network. And the only thing that I have done so far is to statically assign IP addresses to the end devices on this network. You know, the laptop, the desktop computer, the servers, and that's based on this network ID, 192.168.10.0. And by the way, I haven't done anything on the switch, nothing at all. So now that you know that information, and obviously everything that you went through on video number one, how will you answer this question? And that's, what would you say if I give you two minutes for you to tell me anything that you can think of, anything that you know, based on VLANs and obviously based on this network. What would you say? And obviously, if you went through video number one, you will be able to come up with a badass answer, an answer that's gonna differentiate you from everyone else. So, again, what would you say? Because you see me, I will be like, okay, so Jorge, you basically told me that you statically assign IP addresses to the five end devices that you have connected to that switch. So what that means, you have one network. You have one segment, one broadcast domain, one Ethernet network. And let me tell you, Jorge, too, you know, based on the network ID that you have. You are using a class C private IP address, and by the way, you are using the default Sumden mask, you know, based on the Saturday notation 24 that you have there. So what that means, the Sumden mask is 255.255.255.0. So now that we know that, we know that more likely, if that computers are properly configured, they should be able to communicate with each other. And let me tell you something else, Jorge. You know that you said you haven't done anything to the switch. So what that means that all the end devices connected to that switch belong on VLAN 1. And that's because when you take the switch out of the box and you plug it in, you know, by default, it has VLAN 1. What we call the default VLAN, the native VLAN. And by the way, Jorge, you know, if that's a switch, switches work on the layer two of the OSM model and some of them on layer three of the OSM model, data link layer and the network layer. So that's basically what I can tell you so far. Now, I hope that you answer that question like that way, you know, in a way that you can educate me because that's exactly what's gonna help you for you to differentiate yourself from everyone else. So now let's go through this process really quick. So take notes and really like go on learning everything from this point on in a way and you can process it for you to be able to probably teach it to someone, to someone else or for you to have a conversation, be able to answer a technical question related to VLANs to someone else in a way that's gonna differentiate you from everyone else because that's exactly the process that I'm walking you through on how to you know, go through technical topics, content in a way that's gonna help you. So, first, let's go through it by see if these computers are able, you know, to communicate with each other. So let's say, let's see if the laptop is able to connect, say hi, to the desktop computer and one of the servers, and, one, and then one of the servers to one of uh, the desktop computer. So let's see, okay? So first, I'm gonna go on this computer. 
and I'm gonna go on desktop and I'm gonna go to the command prompt and I'm gonna type IP config so that I can see the TCP IP settings and I see it looks right so the last acted that's the number 12 so that's exactly what identifies me from the other computers okay so so good so far so now let me go to the laptop so the laptop I'm gonna go and do the same command prompt IP config and this one has the number 25 so that basically uh, identifies me and the network and being unique so I'm gonna ping saying hi to see if I'm able to to the computer uh, the desktop computer that has the IP of 192.168.10.12 and success so so far so good okay there is some communication there. So I have the four replies, so everything is good. So now let me go to one of the servers and I'm gonna do the same, you know, desktop, command prompt, you know, IP config. And then this one has the IP 100. So let me go back to my laptop. I'm gonna do pink and instead of 12, that's 100, you know, because that's what identifies the uh, server and boom, voila. So I'm able to, right? Laptop to server. So now let me go to the server and let me ping that desktop computer. And the desktop computer had um, the IP of 12, the last acted, 192.168.10.12. And voila, I'm able to. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. So you see, we are able to, uh, to connect, you know, with each other, to talk to each other. And that makes sense, right, one network, uh, one network ID, one broadcast domain, so, so far so good. So now, let's go through this process and see, okay, so Jorge, based on video number one, that was on three VLANs. We're gonna go through this process and creating three VLANs, right? One of them that was for marketing and everyone else. The other VLAN was for only the executives and the other VLAN was only for the server. So let's say, based on what we have here, that yes, we have the servers, the laptop computer, are for executive, you know, they all get the, the goodies, I guess. And then for marketing and everyone else, you know, there will be in the marketing VLAN. So in this case, this two desktop computers. So let me do that first. So we have that here, okay? So let me go here really quick and type that in. So I'm gonna type uh, VLAN, and one of them was VLAN 10. And VLAN 10, if I remember correctly, was for uh let's see vlan 10 well let me go let me we can go back and that uh the other vlan was vlan 55 that was for servers and vlan 77 so now that i remember is this one it's executives okay um vlan 55 was for servers and vlan 10 that was for marketing and everyone else. So I'm just gonna type marketing. So that's it, okay? So let me put that there. So we have VLAN 10, VLAN 55, and VLAN 77. So that's basically the way that we need to go on configuring this network, you know? Uh, and dividing, dividing the one network in three networks. So far we have one. So now, let's go to the switch, okay? So I'm gonna go to the switch. I'm gonna go to the command line interface, okay? And now that I'm on the user mode, based on where I'm at here, I'm gonna type enable so that I can go to uh, privilege mode. So now here I'm gonna type, you know, show version, okay? Why, because I just wanna get some information about this network device. So let me do this, let me type a few, okay, I think this is more than enough. Let me go to my command. So right there, that's my command, show version, okay? And what I, get, what I get is, okay, so we have a Cisco switch. This model, it's a 2960, so that's really good. Another thing that I can see is that we have 24 ports that are fast ethernet. So that's good because probably I don't have the switch in front of me, right, so this is good. Now I get an idea. Uh, now I can imagine that switch, right, being in front of me. And I can see that we have two gigabit ethernet ports. So 24 ports, fast ethernet, that means 100 megabits per second, 24 ports, and two, they are 1,000 megabits per second speed, right? And what else? This is a good one, you know, that version. We have 12 
6.2. There's a few versions out there. The one up today, uh, when I'm filming this video, is 15.1, 15.2, all depending, right? Uh, but this one, this switch, 12.2. So you see, just by me typing short version, I get this out of the switch. So that's good. So now, let me type, okay, show VLAN. Because we're talking, obviously, about VLAN. So that's my command right there on top, right? So now that that's my command up there, basically, I see that all of the ports, all of them, the 24 fast Ethernet and the 2 gigabit ports, they belong on VLAN 1. You see, all of them, all ports belong on VLAN 1. And that means that's the default VLAN, and that means it's the native VLAN. Boom! So you see? And by the way, the last, I mean, the four VLANs right there, we don't use them, so completely ignore them. And by the way, now that I, can, that now that I think about it, there's a few options depending on the version, depending on the switch too, and depending on the... Uh, BTP protocol that we can have extended VLANs. Right now we don't. You know, we only have one all the way through uh, 1005, okay? And the last four, we're not use them, okay? So now, obviously, we need to find out first, well, first, let's create the VLANs. That's the first thing that we need to do, okay? Let's create the VLANs. So let's do that. So I'm going to go back on my switch really quick so I don't want to take too long. And I'm going to type VLAN. No, wait. I have to go to global configuration first. Okay, so I'm in global configuration. So I'm going to type VLAN. And we have VLAN 10. Bam. And then it changed. You see, from global configuration to global configuration VLAN mode. So now I'm going to type name. VLAN 10, that was marketing. So I'm going to type marketing. Enter. Now I can type exit so I can go back one mode. And I can type one more time VLAN. And in this case will be VLAN, let's see, 55. And then name. And that will be servers. Servers. Enter. Now, I don't have to exit. You know, I can go from here. So I'm going to do that. So VLAN. And the last one that we have is 77. And that's name. Executives. Bam. So, so far, so good. I'm going to type exit a few times, and then I'm going to type show VLAN, boom. So now let's see if, that, if that's any change. And yes, you see now I see VLAN 10, marketing, VLAN 55, servers, VLAN 77, whoo, on executives. You see, so far so good, but we have an issue. That yes, we have the VLANs created on the switch, but we have no ports that belong on any of the VLANs. We only have all of the ports belonging on the default VLAN, VLAN 1, so we don't want that. So Let's go and change that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go on the laptop, okay? So that laptop, it's an executive. So that laptop has to move from VLAN 1 to VLAN uh, 77 executive. So we need to find, obviously, the connection between the laptop uh, and the switch. And by the way, we don't have the switch in front of us. We don't have that computer in front of us, probably. You know, we can connect to it remote in to that switch, remote in to that laptop, but physically we don't have no connection. Connection. So the question is, how will you be able to find out where that laptop is connected to on the switch, right? So let's find out. That's what I'm going to walk you through. You know, so I'm giving more valuable content for you to know because probably this is a question that someone may ask you in the job interview process. So let's move on. So let me first go to the laptop, okay? And this is what I'm going to do. On my laptop or from my laptop, I was able to ping, you know, and I'm going to use dash T, if you can see here, dash T, so it can continually ping the other device, okay? And it's not, so I have to type it before, that's fine. You know, dash T, there we go. So basically, instead of me just uh, reaching out to him and getting four replies, it's going to be like nonstop. I'm going to continually say, hey, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? And remember... Okay, that 100, that's the server. So it's going to keep going and going and going. So I'm, I'm doing this, why? Because I'm going to show you something, because we're going to move that. Uh, but first, you know, I need to stop this, because I need to find the MAC address of the laptop. I completely forgot about that. Okay, so first, let me go here, okay, on the switch. And I'm going to type show MAC 
address table. Remember, switch is all about physical addresses, MAC addresses. So I see, you know, uh, some um, traffic going through the switch. I see that we have two devices, and probably this is uh, the laptop communicating to the server. So one of them is the laptop, and one of them is the, the server. But we need to find which one. And basically, it says, you know, I have a device with the following MAC address, and it's connected on port 22. And I have another one that it's connected on port 13. Now, we need to find the MAC address of the laptop to see which one it is. If it's the one that ends on 30 or the one that ends and and 4b so let's go on the laptop and for me to find out eh, for me to be able to find that out i have to type ip config space forward slash all and boom i get a lot i get more details about my tcp ip settings and i can see right there physical address mac address right and this one ends and 4b that means if i go back to my switch that it's connected for B, connected on port 13. Oh, this is good. So now let me go back to my laptop and let me ping my server. You see, I'm still able to connect to my server. I'm good, you know? I'm communicating and go back and forth. I'm getting respond, everything is good. But now let me go to that switch and let me move that, okay? Let me move that port, port 13, because that's where the laptop is connected to. And for me to do that, I have to global configuration mode. I have to select a port. And for me to select a port, I need to type interface and the port number. Fast Ethernet, and that was port 13. Enter. So you see now it changed from global configuration mode to global configuration interface mode right there. So now that I'm inside that port, a specific port 13, right, I'm going to type, uh, let's see. Uh, if I remember correctly, switch port, more access, because that port has to be an access port, and it's something that I will talk about it later, because it can be an access port, it can be a trunk port, access or trunk, This, in this case, access. So now I'm going to type switch port, okay, uh, access, VLAN, right, so remember that laptop is executive, from the executive team. So that has to go on VLAN 77. Boom, that's it, done. Switch port access VLAN 77. So I'm gonna exit out so I can have a better clean screen and then I'm gonna type show VLAN and let's see what happens. Bam, you see, right there. Now let me go back on my uh, laptop, okay? So you see, I'm not able to communicate any longer, why? because we move that port to another VLAN, another broadcast, another network. So you see now we have an issue, okay, that we are not able to communicate with the server. But so far so good because we're still going through this process. But you see now here when I go to the switch and I type show VLAN, I can see, you know, right there, uh, 77 VLAN, 77 executive, I have one port, port 13. And on that one, that's where I have the VLAN. Boom, so good so far, so let's keep going. On this and if you have to stop that video for you to process everything that I'm doing it's it's good okay so now VLAN 10 okay uh, VLAN 10 that will be the IP address 192 168 if I remember correctly and then it will be 200 because we need three network IDs now zero uh, forward slash 24 so that's one I'm gonna put it right here okay now VLAN 55, let me take this one, let me cut it, let me put it here, uh, come on, it's that one, boom, okay, that's, and if you go back to video number one, it will show you that, okay, now, an executives, okay, that was 200, if I'm not mistaken, no, it was 100, 100, yeah, because 200, that was for marketing, there we go, so now you see, we have, uh, an IP net, um, a network ID for each of the VLANs that we have, and that makes sense. Three VLANs, three networks. Three VLANs, three ne uh, broadcast domains. Three VLANs, three segments, right? Uh, so now we need to start going through this process and configure that. So let's go on laptop, you know, might as well. So I'm gonna go on the laptop. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go to IP configuration, 
and this one is 10 this one has to be a hundred and I'm gonna use the I don't know let me use 10 the IP address 10 okay and that's yep yeah, that's a summon mask that means that th the first three actors will not change again a hundred that's because if I go back to VLAN 77 executives that's basically the network ID a hundred so I have that so that's good so now I'm gonna go to the two pieces here the two pieces are marketing obviously so I'm gonna go here marketing is 200 so I'm gonna I need to change that I'm gonna leave the last acted you know 11 in this case so that one is 200 I'm gonna go on this one and let me close command prompt and 200 and I'm gonna explain one more time because I don't want you to get lost so again these two pieces belong on the marketing department the marketing VLAN that's VLAN 10 and that network ID it's 200 right the per octet so now let's move these two ports let's move these two ports okay and by the way because I don't want to walk you through and and what I just walk you through you know um, I know that this computer because I, I type 01 it's connected to 01 and this one 02 is connected on port 02 that's why I put those numbers you know but I show you how can you find out without knowing that right going on the switch having a, a traffic going on from those devices and then going to that devices command prompt see their MAC address and then compare okay but we're not gonna do that because that will take more time but I already show you that okay so in this case it's port 1 and 2 and I know because watch I can go here on the switch maybe let's see uh, no it's not gonna give me that option okay but it's port of, uh, 1 uh, and 2 Okay, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select those two. Okay, I'm gonna select those two. But right now, let me show you one thing, okay? Uh, well, no, that's fine, let me just go through it because I don't wanna take too long. So I'm gonna go to config T and I'm gonna go interface, range, because I'm selecting more than one port, okay? Range is when you select more than one port. And that's uh, FA and that's uh, one. Uh, come on, one. And then all the way to, uh, uh, let's see if it gets me when I do this. F0, no, FA02. And no, that's not how we want it. So let's see. Uh, call map, and that's FA02. And there we go. So now, whatever I do, okay, whatever I do from this point on, it's gonna affect, take effect on, the, on port one and port two. So let's do that. So I'm gonna go through the same commands that I did before. You know, switch port, more access, boom. Switch port, access, VLAN, and that's on VLAN 10 because that's marketing VLAN. Boom, that's done, I'm done. Exit, exit, and then show VLAN, and let's see if that happened, boom. And you see VLAN 10, I have port one and two so now let's see okay I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go to my command prompt IP config and this one is 11 right so I'm gonna see if I can ping my neighbor and that's 192 168 that 200 remember right 12 and let's see let's see okay it's taking time now what's happening with this one request timeout if I do this one more time it's gonna go uh, well with no problem you see but the first one is because it's going through this process called ARP address resolution protocol but that's for another video because I don't want to take probably it's so far like 20 uh, minutes on, on this video and I didn't want I don't want to take too long but that's basically going through the process ARP I'm basically resolving the, uh, the IP that you have into a MAC address remember for devices to communicate on a local network locally you know, Ethernet network, it's all based on MAC addresses, okay? So that's good. So the only thing it's missing is this. So now the same here, you know, I have a port 21, DC domain controller, this server, DNS, DHCP, this server, port 22. So they are connected there. So port 22 connected on the switch, port 21 connected to the switch. So I'm going to select those two ports, okay, on the switch. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to select those two ports. I'm going to do the same config T config T and I'm gonna select so interface range because I'm selecting more than one and that's uh, FA 0 and then it's port 21 
and comma FA0 port 22. Boom. So now switch port mode access because I want those ports to be access ports. And now that they are access ports, I need to go and switch port access as a VLAN. And the VLAN will be 55 because those are the two servers. And then from here, I'm going to type do show VLAN. Do means that I don't have to go all the way back to privilege mode. I can type any command that I want, but I have from any mode, but I have to type do first. In this case, I'm going to do that. Do show VLAN. And let's see. And I have uh, VLAN 55, X servers, port 21 and 22. Bam. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you on this video. Now, what's the biggest deal here? That that computers will not be able to communicate with each other. What that means, these two desktop computers, yes, they can say hi because they belong on the same network, net VLAN, net, same VLAN. These two servers can communicate with each other, yes, because they belong on the same network, same VLAN. But if that desktop computers, marketing, want to communicate with the executives or the servers, not possible. And that's exactly on what I'm going to walk you through on video number three. You know, I'm going to walk you through a few topics, you know, about the routing and all that. You know, uh, router on the stick, you know, that's a really good topic for you to know in a way that you can obviously answer a question like a beta. So that's exactly the way that I'm going to walk you through it. And by the way, another thing that I'm forgetting. No, that's it. That's basically what's going to happen on video number three. And on video number four, I'm going to go through that process and how to configure that. So everything that I'm going to walk you through on video three, I'm going to apply that and walk you through on video number four. So again, you still have three more videos to go uh, through. And the only thing that I'm going to ask you to is for you to obviously share the video, for you to like the video, for you to subscribe, and for you to comment on the video. And that's it. So do that, and I will talk to you on video number three.